Hey everyone, it's Olivia, and this is going to be a channeled message, um, and this is also going to be a chart reading for XXX Tentacion, and the way that I believe that this opened a portal and that his death served as some sort of sacrifice or some sort of uh, catalyst of energy so that some a certain portal could be open or broken down. or um, This was a very powerful being. Uh, I want all of you to understand that. This was a very powerful being. And before I even get into this video, I would like to say rest in peace, X. Um, I know I personally was touched by your music. I remember in 2016, or not 2016, 2017, I moved back home. And it was one of just the most, it was a de the most depressing time of my life. I moved back home and I actually felt so physically sick to be in the house that I, I spent like two weeks where every day, as soon as I woke up, I went outside for a few hours until like 2 p.m., 3 p.m. And I was working out outside and sunbathing with weights. And like, I remember I listened to your music through that whole period because it was hype and it was sad and it was dark and it helped me feel you know that this guy xxx tentacion he had very very um dark music and the first thing that i want to talk about with him is that yes he was an aquarius but he had a sagittarius moon with pluto conjunct his moon and Something that I want to bring up early in this video is the generation of the Pluto Sag and the Uranus and Aquarius generation. You see, this, this generation started officially in 1996. And Little Peep, for those of you, I was a huge, I'm, a, I'm still a huge Little Peep fan. I'm, I was an XX Tentacion fan. And this generation is very different from the Pluto Scorpio Uranus and Capricorn generation the Pluto Sag generation and the Uranus and Aquarius generation is these people you see with all of the tattoos and all of this music and this 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 crazy right this crazy insane energy and and gang gang and all of this this sort of energy right well what I would like to say first about the Pluto Sagittarius generation is that these are pe this is a generation that is willing to die for their desires. It's willing to die for their transformation. These are the people who feel like it's better to lose themselves. It's better to lose themselves or be killed or die for what they really want. The Pluto Sagittarius generation is deeply inspired, deeply inspired for experience. They deeply crave experience they want wisdom they're willing to die for their lessons they're willing to die for whatever it is that their soul is 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 yearning for wanting to go on an adventure for because Sagittarius is very much so adventure and that in the in Pluto vibration is that these people are ready to die in many ways ready to die and knowing that death is just the next adventure these are people who Pluto Scorpio Fear can still fear death, whereas the Pluto and Sagittarius generation feels like they've been dying since birth. You know, the 90s batch of babies have dealt with a lot of depression. Uh, I know the 90s babies, I think more than any other generation, had to deal with separated parents and just the... Uh, it was such a shift. It was it's, it's a shift. And these 90s kids, like 98... He was, uh, XXS Tentacion was only 20 years old, you guys. He's 20 years old. Um, this was a young, rebellious, inspired, crazy, mad artist. This was a mad, evil artist. And yes, he had done really fucked up things. Like, this is someone who had done fucked up things. But I am no one to say that. Because people live their own soul journey they deal with their own karma i am nobody to criticize anybody um and yesterday i was seeing so much hatred 
oh my god it was making me sick it was making me sick I couldn't even look at everything I was getting sick and I feel like this um I also want to bring up so XXX Tentacion his Uranus this is where I'm going to start talking about his death so well first let me say XXX had Pluto on his moon so this was someone who internally felt dead uh he could have felt like if he's not really living, then he's dying. This is that sort of extreme intensity. These people have extreme intensity. And because it was a Sagittarius vibration, this is like he felt like if he didn't explore, if he didn't open himself up or he didn't give it his all or really fully express himself, then he was just slowly dying painfully. So this is a very intensely... Um, intense and inspired being whose emotions and responses are deeply deeply channeled and mag and magical um, and then he also had Venus and Mercury and Capricorn so this is someone who spoke from deep in their bones this is someone who feels deep in their bones this is somebody who wants who wanted to be stable who desired stability who wanted to feel grounded in what they love and how they think who wanted to feel um, deep in their bones about who they are and what they say they are and his Uranus was eight degrees Aquarius, which Mars was conjunct his Uranus at death. So the day of his death, Mars was conjunct his Uranus. And this is why I feel that XXX could have been some sort of higher galactic sacrifice. Um, and I really believe, you know, the North Node, the North Node and Venus were opposing his Uranus as Mars was conjuncting it. And a Mars transit over someone's Uranus could really truly indicate a sudden chaotic death, a tragic event, um, and it's it usually is aggressive. So of course, what was it? A gun. And um, I also want to say that Pluto was conjunct his Venus. So it's like death was it was nearing towards his soul. Death was nearing towards his heart, his love. His appreciation could have slowly been dying or he could have felt like everything in his life was purging away. But, you know, this is this person who who made music for the dark artist, who made music for the um, the twisted and intense beings here, you know, and. Another thing I wanted to say is his Saturn is 14 degrees Aries, which is my IC. So I felt very deeply, deeply connected to him, almost as if um, word is bond I'm hearing. Like I felt very deeply connected to his soul's message or like his his message, his way connected deeply right to my soul. Um, but I feel that this was some sort of sacrifice because just a few hours before his death, he posted this video about how all he really wanted was to touch he all he wanted is like five million five million um kids to hear his music and uh like he it, it's i looking at his chart uh, you know he also has 28 degrees mars and aquarius with conjunct jupiter and this to me is a galactic being and I really, truly believe that all he really wanted out of this life was to touch the collective. And, and I feel like he was driven to inspire and awaken the collective. That's Mars in Aquarius conjunct Jupiter in Aquarius. And, you know, even though Mars is only at eight degrees right now, conjunct his Uranus, he still was in the midst of his Mars return. And Mars is in retrograde right now. This is a lot of indicators that this could be someone's last moments, that someone is getting ready to die. Um, but that, that Uranus, that, not Uranus, but that Aquarius energy, having Mars conjunct Jupiter, this is someone who has very strong internal explosions, who wants to transcend, who wants their passion to grow and reach. Um, a lot of the times these are people who their, their desires are so powerful, they feel that they need an audience. And with it being in Aquarius, he really was motivated to inspire people. He really was motivated and internally driven to reach masses, to reach the collective. This is someone who felt driven towards the world, um, the universal consciousness. And this was someone who was very enlightened. Like, don't let these don't let these people fool you because he was in jail and because he had... All, let, we all know what he did to his girlfriend. We all know 
um, the accusations and things that he's done. We all know that this kid was troubled. Like we know that. But why? Why is that even relevant right now? Um, obviously, people sign up for what they sign up for, and even the people who are hurt. Uh, who get hurt by other people, they signed up for their life too, and they signed up for their karma too. So I don't really have sympathy or pity for anybody. I really, really believe that everybody is here on their journey, and they're going to do whatever they're destined to do, and I'm nobody to judge that, period. So I'm not going to sit here and talk about his wrongs doing, but I will sit here and talk about how magical he is, how he was a descended being, a, a descended master. Um, and I really feel he died way too young. You know, a lot of people yesterday were talking about like, oh, death is a good thing and we got to be happy. And yes, I agree with that. But for the sake of the argument that we are still here as humans and we are in a human experience, to die at 20 years old is sad as fuck. And that's too young to die. Like, this is a person who had so much high vibrational energy. If he would have had more life to live, he could have really grown as a person. He could have really changed things. He could have really impacted on an even grander, more mass level. This is someone who was in the midst of their come up, in the midst of their growth. And that's why I feel this was some sort of sacrifice because everything has played out way too eerie. Everything has been too eerie. Um, a part of me, and I don't know if this is true, but a part of me feels like he might have shot himself. This is just a little feeling that I felt or that this was orchestrated. Um, again, I have no proof of this. This is just my own kind of channeled feeling is that he could have set this up. He could have got someone to shoot him or he could have shot himself because he wanted to die on that good note. He wanted to die on the message of he was going to touch people's lives and that, you know, the IG video he did live, he was talking about like, don't let the body hold you back. And, um, it was kind of a very inspired message, almost as if he was ready to die, almost as if maybe he knew he was going to die later. And that's just my own sort of feeling I'm picking up on now of course it could have just been a shot and he could have died and it could have been tragic like that but I don't know having Mars and Aquarius on Jupiter it, it could have been constructed he could have constructed this big event he could have wanted it um well either way it was his time and I think that the portal that opened yesterday now I also want to talk about with you guys that some of you may have been feeling kind of nauseous or dizzy. You may have been looking at things and it shifts or it starts to change a little bit. Um, you may be staring at something and it just all of a sudden like moves around or you may be experiencing a lot of confusion. You may be experiencing a lot of um, your body feels weak. You could feel like something is just off. Um, and this was really starting to build yesterday, even before his death was announced. And I really feel that it's because there is some sort of mass ritual or portal or there's something opening and that it was going to set off or activate at his death. I really feel that XXS Tentacion was some sort of catalyst for a portal to open for some sort of timelines timelines to collapse or merge together. Yesterday, um, and I, I was saying this and I don't remember which daily reading, but I was saying that the weekend felt very just all merged together, like timelines were overlapping. And I feel like his death Yesterday really was a catalyst for this, for certain timelines to speed up, for certain dimensions to quickly, quickly drop. Um, and, you know, this, he had, he had such a soul, such a soul. You know, Pluto on his moon and Mars was conjunct his Uranus. He was almost a perfect sacrifice because Mars could just take that Uranus energy and boom, end his life and ascend him to the next just boom, take him out, be the catalyst, boom, um, the, that electric energy of Aquarius. Um, I feel that this was 100% orchestrated and faded. And it saddens me because I feel he had so much more to do here. But I also feel like he, right now, his death, what this in retrospect is going to be is this is going to be a time where um, now this is going to be a little bit, this is something that I've just been channeling and that I feel personally, but I feel like this death is creating some sort of divide between those who have compassion and those who don't. There's this sort of energy of people who have compassion for the living, for just the simple fact of life, of being a human being with a life, a life source. And those, of, those people who are so based in ego, so based in right and wrong, so based in, in trapped and lost in the physical realm who can't even have compassion, 
who who see someone and they all they can see is what that person has done wrong and they write them off and they wish them death and there's this portal now there's this awakening coming through this energy coming through of those who have compassion and those who don't those who show mercy and those who don't and it's a real eerie real eerie energy because I know when he was dying in the car, look how there was people just Snapchatting it and looking at it like it was just like if it wasn't even happening, like if because he was a celebrity, like this was just some crazy thing to record. Like that's a human being there. That's a human being dead in a car. Like and the fact that some people could look at that and, and naturally instinctually be like, well, that's what he gets. That's very evil. Like that's very cold. That's that's mercy. That's merciless. Um, and that lacks all compassion. And I feel like his death is some sort of catalyst for this, of that, you know, are you going to, are you going to have your, is your soul going to be that hardened and that cold just to prove you're right? Or like just to assert your ego or just to say that you feel this kind of way and you're right? Or are you going to just love? Or are you going to say, you know, I wish you well? And, you know, I, it's just, that's what I'm sensing. It's just this sort of portal opening up around the realms of mercy and compassion. And, you know, XXS Tentacion, his music was very dark. This was a dark being. You know, he was an Aquarius with Uranus um, on his sun, right? Like, oh my God, Pluto on his moon, Jupiter conjunct Mars, Saturn in Aries. This is someone who also had Venus conjunct Mercury. Like, and all in the later degrees, he had so much Aquarius, Capricorn, Sagittarius energy. This is someone who was absolutely here to reach masses and to bring some sort of higher galactic energy he was here to channel higher messages like this is he was probably very very psychic he was probably very in tune with things he was probably very aware of the portals and the matrix and i believe he even said that in the video before he died he was talking about the matrix i think and he was just talking about he was like don't let anything hold you back and you know he was filled with this intelligence filled with this artistry and I feel like his life was taken so young. I feel that it's because he was somehow deemed a threat, that he was somehow too large of a catalyst, that somehow he had to be taken sooner. And I feel like this event is going to be some sort of catalyst and his death has made some sort of portal open. So those of you, you could um, now I want to say this even beyond his death the past few days. And I'm really, really feeling that this is going to take place until closer to July. So it'll probably wind down, um, may, actually it's either going to wind down when cancer season starts or it's going to amplify and get even worse. I'm not sure yet, but I am sensing that there will be some sort of shift once it's cancer season um, on Thursday. But there's this energy, until we get to the, the eclipses in July, there's this energy building up where many of you right now are shifting dimensions and timelines and your your body is purging a lot so some of you again you could be feeling dizzy you could be confused you could be unsure of you saw certain things or if you heard certain things or if you um experienced certain things you may be forgetting certain things throughout the day and just understand that this doesn't mean you're going crazy this means that your subconscious and your higher self sense something coming and they're trying to release you release your energy of things that do not matter they're trying to just put your 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 body right now is going through a state of transformation and your mind your subconscious your conscious mind is going through a purge cycle because those of you who are awakened and who are sensitive to these energies we are all being prepared for something very very powerful in July and coming into the end of the, not even July the end of this year itself um and something i also wanted to say um you know, in November, we're gonna, Jupiter is going to go out of Scorpio and go into Sagittarius. So those of you born in 95, you're going to have your first Jupiter return. And when Jupiter goes into Sagittarius, I feel like this portal that was opened by XXX is going to get even more catastrophic and chaotic. I think that there is going to be way more sacrificial um crazy spontaneous events taking place but ultimately what this is doing is pushing the message of that we should be on a pursuit of happiness you know despite xxx losing his life i feel like he really was embodying the vibration of being on the pursuit of happiness he wanted to be happier he acknowledged he wasn't happy he acknowledged he was depressed he wanted more and 
um, all of these messages are starting to be a little bit more clear to me, but I'm really just sensing that there's a huge, a, no, a large number of you that listen to me that are in a state of you need to purify. You really need to take some time to fast. You really need to take some time to spend alone and detach because your higher self is really trying to prepare you for something big in your life, a big change. And this is going to cause a lot of confusion because time is not linear. We are experiencing the past, the present, and the future always. Um, and we are, and I need you all to know also that many of your thoughts are not yours. A lot of your emotions are not even yours. There are energies and entities that watch you, that see you, that see your potential. And look at someone like XXX. They see how much potential he had to really be somebody, to really, really share a message, to really, really be proof of evolvement. And look how quick, boom, gone. You know, do not, do not for one second think that we um, have some sort of entitlement here on earth because we're earthbound. We all need to understand that every single day is a spiritual war. Every single day there is entities and dark energies that are fighting for you, that want you, that want to take your power, that want to take your light, that want to take your dreams, that want to take your body, your soul. There is a constant fight over you every single day because you are that powerful and because you are that much of a threat. And don't ever, ever think that that a single day of your life, you are not fighting for your consciousness, that you are not fighting for your soul. Um, last night in the middle of the night, I like woke up randomly. I just like woke up because something woke me up and I got up really quick and I started to walk around my house as if something was invading me. Something was invading my space and I looked around and I was really confused, but and then I thought to myself, this is energy. This is energy trying to possess me. This is energy trying to scare me, try to get in get in my space. And what did I do? I jumped right up with no fear. You, you need to know that this is a fight and that this is a battle. Um, and protect your energy. Take care of your body. If that is one message that, I, that means the most to me, uh, it's the body. To please take care of the body. And this is something I'm still struggling with. And through XX Tentacion's death, it's making me realize just how important it is to have a pure vessel, to not ingest dark things, to not ingest deadly things, to, to take care of your body because it's the only one you have. Um, and this is definitely his death has opened up some sort of portal. And I might make another video on this later on, but I just wanted to get this message out and, and share with you guys that if you are feeling weird energy, know that you're not alone. There is a lot of timeline shifts happening right now and dimensions that are collapsing. And there are new norms being pushed out. This is also a message I channeled last night that there is some, there is this, there is like this group of people in the U.S. specifically that is growing in numbers and power. And these are people who really, truly do not have compassion, who they really believe that people who do really wrong things are better off dead. And these people are highly deluded in the fact that they think all things really should be good and peaceful and merry. Um, and these people are actually darker inside than the people they judge. And this is like a norm that is starting to be more normalized and accepted. And this is why so many people yesterday looked at those videos and looked at this man's death and had no care at all, who literally looked at it as like, oh, well, like there's this there's energy that's growing that lacks compassion and it's it's ego, it's egotistic and it's it's entitled and it's it's disgusting. Um, and it's only making those of you with compassion grow stronger and grow more brave in your life. And they're, they're, just know that this is a battle. This is a battle and it's not ending. It's not going to be ending. It's only growing. And as we grow, we have to become stronger and more of our warrior self. So just know, you guys, that love is the answer. Don't judge anybody. Don't judge a soul on earth because you do not have a right to. Do not judge a single soul on earth. Um, none of us, none of us are perfect. Nobody is all good or all bad. We are all both light and dark. We are all both good and evil. Um, yeah, and I think that's all I'm going to post for right now. I may post, um, more messages as channeled messages come through to me. I'm in a very sensitive state these days. It's why I haven't been able to really get work done. Um, I feel as if my body, like, I feel like I'm becoming a crystallized being and that there's certain energy or dark entities that are attaching to me to bring me down in the third dimension and keep me in a dense position and I'm trying to cleanse my energy. 
Um, something I also can suggest if you guys are feeling this, fast, I think I already said that, but fast. Really drink a lot of water, um, clear your mind, burn sage, burn Pablo Santo, light incense, light candles, keep yourself in a spiritually adapt place. Um, and if there's any sort of like old tarot cards or if there's any old symbol or things in your in your space that kind of bring you negative energy, get rid of them. Don't let anything negative stay in your space that uh, you could open some sort of entity or open some sort of portal with it. Um, so really just try to stay in a positive vibration, you guys. We're in very intense times. And rest in peace to XXX Tentacion. Um, your, 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 definitely your work will live in my soul forever because your Saturn's conjunct my IC. So I'll always appreciate your, your work on a soul level. I know you did touch my life. Um, rest, rest easy. And I hope that in your next adventure your next journey wherever your soul takes you next that you re you remember from this life and you grow and in your next life you have the chance to grow in all the ways that you didn't have the time in this life and you know time is everything right you guys so that's all i have for you today i hope all of you are enjoying your day really try to stay in a vibrant place today take care of yourself rest if you need to and until the next video <laughs>